Welcome back, Canaanites. I really should have gotten this video out a couple days ago, but perhaps it's for the best that I couldn't. Gave me some time to gather my thoughts and whatnot. Also, if my voice sounds kind of weird, I got really sick on Saturday, so... yeah. Anyway, on to the video. On Thursday, February 16th, 343 broadcast Halo Wars 2 Live to celebrate the launch of the game. In that broadcast, we got our first look at an upcoming DLC leader. In both Friday's Halo Wars 2 Early Access post and in the Halo Wars 2 game guide, we learned that that new leader's name is Morgan Quinsano. Based on the achievements associated with her and her attire, it seems she is a Hellbringer, or at least related to those units. Interestingly, the game guide lists her as Day 1 DLC, with Forge being a pre-order bonus. I guess plans changed. Anyway, in the Friday post, we also get a hint at some of the upcoming campaign DLC, which is set during a mission called Operation Spearbreaker. It isn't a stretch to assume that the DLC will involve Kinsano in some manner, though that remains unconfirmed at the moment. Sadly, that's all we know for now, but I figured that it would be fun to speculate about what other leaders could appear, and any that I would like to appear. New DLC leaders are to be added every third Wednesday of the month for the next several months, so we could be looking at quite a few. The first on my list is Sergeant Johnson. If people recall, an early Vidoc for Halo Wars 2 showed Johnson in some sort of mech suit. Most dismiss the appearance as a joke, but with the news about DLC leaders, I don't think it's a huge stretch that we could actually see him return in this manner, perhaps even with some kind of crazy mech because reasons. Second for me would be Thel Vadim and his Swords of Sanghelios. I'd love to get more Sanghelios leaders overall, but Thel specifically would be my dream leader. I'd love to see him with sword-specific units, and perhaps you could actually summon him to the battlefield, sort of how you can summon Decimus. And speaking of the Swords of Sung Helios, a third potential leader for me would be Urtas Varum. People have been wanting to see the return of the Spec Ops Commander for years, and this would be a great way to do it, and give fans an update on what he's been up to via the Phoenix Logs. My fourth entry isn't a specific leader, but new types of units, Prometheans. When asked about the possibility of a Forerunner faction in Halo Wars 2 back at SDCC 2016, writer Kevin Grace only responded with, that would be cool, or something along those lines. It's about as far from confirmation as one can get, but I want to hope. The coolest thing about a Promethean or Forerunner faction is that 343 could do a few different leaders. You could have Cortana with Promethean units, a Warden hero unit, and maybe some crazy other units that reflect the state of the galaxy post-Halo 5. Like, imagine calling in a Guardian as an Uber unit, or having humans, grunts, and other species supporting her Prometheans, as we know that some species and worlds have already submitted to Cortana's will. And speaking of Prometheans, this would be a chance to bring back the Didact as a leader. Not only would this allow 343-CA to develop the Promethean units for more than one leader, I just think it would be awesome to see the Didact return. Hell, they could have a lot of fun with it and actually give him Forerunner soldiers, along with some crazy weaponry. If anyone remembers the Halo Legends episode Origins 1, I'd love to see that crazy energy weapon thing the Forerunner soldiers used in here. Finally, when it comes to potential Forerunner leaders, my wet dream would be Mendicant Bias. This would again allow 343 to recycle some units, such as the various Sentinels already in-game, and if they had Prometheans, they could give him soldiers since Armagers, of which the soldiers are a type, were present on the Ark at least at one point. What has me most excited about Mendicant as a potential leader, though, is the fact that all DLC leaders will have a Phoenix Log entry on them, which means 343 could take this as an opportunity to introduce Mendicant to the larger fanbase and give lore-savvy fans an update on his status. That does it for Forerunner leaders, so let's move on. Fifth on my list, though technically seventh, would be the Flood. This is about as much of a long shot as anything else, but God knows how many people wanted a Flood faction in the original Halo Wars and now in Halo Wars 2. Probably a minority of the overall player base, but still. The coolest thing about this, I think, is that 343-CA could really change up the gameplay. Rather than the more traditional method of buying tech levels, Flood could grow by infecting enemy units and taking over other bases, evolving from a small proto-grave mine to a full grave mine, and so on. With the Flood, when enemy units die, they wouldn't disappear from the battlefield, but instead would be infected and join the Flood's ranks. If this all sounds familiar, it's because Hidden Xperia and I talked about it back in June of last year, and he made a video based on that feedback. Next up, let's talk about another potential UNSC leader, Thomas Lasky. He'd have many of the base UNSC units, but could also call in Spartan 4 fire teams, maybe even Fireteam Majestic specifically. He could also be given a more powerful mech blast, given that Infinity is at his command, and perhaps it could be some expensive Uber shot that has the potential to damage friendly units for the sake of balance. What would be really cool in my opinion is giving Lasky the Mammoth as a unit. 
It could train units like the Elephant could in Halo Wars 1, along with having a mini-mech upgrade to give it the gun we saw in Halo 4. And to wrap things up, how about some classic Covey leaders? I'd love to see some Halo Wars 1 leaders return, such as Regret, the Ripa Morini Arbiter, and the unnamed Brute Chieftain. Maybe 343 could finally confirm that he's Caster from Halo Last Light. Another awesome potential leader would be Tartarus. And that's my short list for potential leaders that I'd love to see come to Halo Wars 2. Do you agree with it? What other leaders would you like to see? And are you excited for Morgan Quinsano? Let me know in the comments below. I've also linked to the Halo Wars 2 blog post and Halo Wars 2 Live in the description box. Thanks for watching as always, and until next time, this has been Halo Cannon. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribing, and sharing it around. You are the reason I get to keep doing this, so thank you, profusely thank you. If you want to dive deeper into Halo's lore, head over to the Halo Archive. It's a lore-based community that welcomes everyone from experts to rookies. No matter what your working knowledge, you'll be sure to find a friend and a good time.